Lesson 5, place value through 100 trillions and reading and writing whole numbers. You will need a glue stick for this lesson as we're going to glue in our place value chart into our notebooks. Whoops, I said it and then I started writing chart. But the title is actually place value through 100 trillions And then we're also going to talk about reading and writing whole numbers. So we're going to begin by just gluing in the whole number place value chart. Now I don't have one with me to glue in right now, so you'll have to get that from your teacher. Um, if you've missed the class or you'll get it during class as you do lesson five. So um, leave some space to be able to glue that in. And we're gonna go over expanded notation. Expanded notation, um, for a hint on this, you want to name the place values. So here's an example for expanded notation, 5,280. So five is in the thousands place, so we do five times 1,000. Here's that naming the place value. Then we add the two in its place value, and two is in the hundreds place, so you do two times 100. Then we're gonna add the eight times 10, and that's the end. We do not add a zero times one because that's just zero. Here's another example for expanded notation. 67,432. Notice this the six is in the 10,000 spot. So we do six times 10,000. Notice that here's our six and there's one, two, three, four numbers after it. And when we do six times, it's one with four zeros. Then we do seven times one with three zeros, and then we do four times, ah, uh, parentheses comes before the four, four times one with two zeros, plus, and then we do in parentheses three times 10, plus two times one. Two is in the ones place, so that's why you do two times one. When writing numbers, so if we want to write our numbers, first thing you have to know is to put commas after the words um, trillion, billion, million, and thousand. You need to remember to hyphenate. That just means put a dash between the words. So we have to hyphenate the numbers between 20 and 100 that do not end in zero. So for instance, 22, that number does not end in zero. So when you write the number 22, you have to put hyphen in between it. 22 does not end in a zero, so to write it, it would be 20 hyphen 2. 35 would be 30 hyphen 5. These do not end in zero, so you're going to put a hyphen there. If you have um, this number right here, you would write it 3 billion, and then you put the dollars, because we're talking about dollars here, so you want to have your, your label. Here's a number, um, and you just need to notice where the commas are. Notice the comma after million and thousand. 
So this is 36,427,580. So if I wanted to write this, I would say 36, notice it doesn't end in a zero, so I have to hyphenate it, million. And then you put your comma in. And then you read this number as if there's no other numbers around it. Just read this number, 427. So you just write 427. Notice that 27 does not end in zero, so you hyphenate it. And then this is the thousands place, so you write thousand comma. And then you just read this number, 580. Notice that 80 ends in zero, so there's no hyphen there. It's just one, one word. That's the end of lesson five.